Hey everybody, so in this video, we're going to take a look at setting up a camera. Oops, I have it from a test I was doing. So, a camera for um, our death animation here. So, what we're going to want to do is click on our mesh, and we're going to create a camera. So that gives us a camera. If we look in the viewport, it is attached to our character. I'm going to pull it out this way. Maybe kind of aim it down, something kind of like that, so that way we're looking down at our character for the death sequence. So if you push play right now when we add a camera like that, you'll see that we only get that camera. Um, if we move around, you'll see that we have our camera attached like that. Okay, so we want to be able to um, Actually, you know what would be a good idea? Let's go to the setup here and then let's create the camera based off of where the camera is. So let's do camera. There we go. So we have a camera that is attached to the other camera. So it's going to be following wherever the other camera is at. So let's set up the angle, something kind of like this. And let's test this now. So if we play it, uh, we are looking at the main camera. So that's good, but we still have the other camera in the scene. So, um, but this is where we're going to want to make sure that we're looking through when the death sequence happens. So let's call this, uh, instead of just camera, we'll call it death camera. Compile that and let's go to the event graph. So we want to basically um, have the camera here. There should be an option for auto activate Let's turn that off under activation, so it's not going to be active when we start off. And that way we make sure that the main camera is the one that always activates when we start off. Then, what we can do, let's start a side scroller here. Let's go to the event craft and let's drag in both of these cameras so we have the side view camera and then we have the death camera so when the death happens we basically want to the act Activate the side camera, and we want to activate the death camera. So let's see when we do the death animation. So we could see that it um, detaches, but we can see that we can still control the movement for that. So uh, let's go in to the blueprint and let's make sure that it is um, set up and removed. So we're basically what we're going to do is um, detach it from the components that are under it. So let's look at um, the detach uh, from component mesh. 
detach from side view camera and then let's say keep world so it switches over to the world where it's parented okay let's test this now um, actually the side view camera is not what we want to attach we want to uh, detach the death camera okay so let's go here now if I trigger the death animation I try to move around it doesn't give me the option so let's play this again let's try different position I'm gonna have him walk off and die so we can see what happens and I can't control the camera anymore so we lose complete control over the character after the character dies and the camera is um, set up to be parented to the world and we're viewing everything to the death camera the um, sequence here we're deactivating the side camera which is the main camera that we look to through when we're playing then we activate the death camera and we make sure that we unparent it from the camera that's keeping it um, moving with the character all right so i hope this works out to you again one more time seeing the character and dice physics cameras controlled and everything all right we'll see you guys in the next video where we'll create a world um, element that will trigger the rigid body sequence to do the death animation using rigid body or ragdoll physics all right see you guys in the next one